Hello friends, welcome in Pharmaceutical Chemistry first. Myself, lecturer Mrs. Urmila Ravindra Gaudi, I am from in Quality Assurance and lecturer in KKVAG Institute of Pharmacy, Santori. So, let's start with experiment number 15, title essay of calcium gluconate to determine percent weight by weight of calcium glu gluconate in the given sample of calcium gluconate. So let's start with learning objective after watching this video student will able to understand intellectual skill that means to understand the concept of essay to identify titrant and titrate in the titration to understand the concept of factor calculation to understand the concept of percentage purity motor skill to observe the correct meniscus of the solution in the burette to observe the color change at the end point of the titration. So let's start with concept regarding practical. This essay is based upon complexometric type of titration in which metal ion, simple metal ion is transferred into complex ion by addition of reagent which is known as ligand, which is also called complexing agent. The complex form is stable and water soluble. In this titration, metal ion accept electron and ligand donate it. In ligand molecule, there is a presence of at least one lone pair of electron through which coordinate linkage with the metal ion takes place. Ligand molecule usually possesses oxygen, nitrogen or sulfur in one or more number in their structure. Ligands are classified depending upon their number of sites for attachment. That means unidentate if it is attached for single site, then bidentate two sites and multidentate many sites. Disodium editate is the example of multidentate ligand which forms the complex with the metal ion by donating lone pair of electron in presence of strong ammonia solution. The end point is determined by the addition of modern black second as an indicator. The color change from red to blue. Note 5 ml of 0 0.05 molar magnesium sulfate solution is added before the titration. This is done to make the end point sharp. Chemical reaction which is involved in assay of calcium gluconate. The process of complex formation can be represented by this reaction. Calcium plus disodium edited it use metal complex plus 2 H plus ions. Then factor calculation, factor for standardization, each ml of 0.05 molar disodium edited is equivalent to 0.0654 grams of zinc. Each m factor for assay. Each ml of 0.05 molar disodium editate is equivalent to 0.02242 grams of calcium gluconate. Standard calcium gluconate contains not less than 98.5% and not more than 102.0% of calcium gluconate. This is the chemical reaction which is involved in assay of calcium gluconate. Calcium plus disodium edited in presence of strong ammonia solution having pH 10 giving this calcium metal complex. So here this nitrogen is act as the heteroatom which is react with calcium to form the coordinate bond. Here that is the disodium editate is the examples of multidentate ligand. So apparatus which are required for the practical weighing balance, burette, conical flask, funnel measuring cylinder and the beaker, chemical, calcium gluconate, disodium editate, 0 0.05 molar strong ammonia solution, modern black second, magnesium sulfate, 0 0.05 molar granulated zinc, 2 molar sodium hydroxide, Dilute hydrochloric acid, bromine water and ammonia buffer. So for the actual procedure we move towards laboratory. Welcome in pharmaceutical chemistry first laboratory. Today we are going to deal with assay of calcium gluconate. In previous session we already discussed principle, reaction, then factor, apparatus and chemical which are required for assay. So in this session we are moved towards lab procedure for the assay. So let's start. So let's start with standardization for that we require 0 0.8 gram of granulated zinc. We accurately 0 0.8 gram of granulated zinc. And 
transfer this into conical flask. Now add this, add the 12 ml of dilute HCl into the conical flask which contains 0.8 gram of zinc, granulated zinc. Now dissolve this zinc into dilute HCl by warming it on heating burner. Now add 0.1 ml of bromine water into this solution. After addition of bromine water we have to heat this solution so that excess of bromine get evolved. Heat for few minutes so that excess of bromine get evolved. After boiling for 10 minutes, pull this solution in water bath. Now our solution is full. Now add distilled water to produce 250, uh, sorry, 200 ml of this resulting solution. Shake vigorously for 5 minutes and then pipette out 20 ml of this solution to titrate against 0.05 molar disodium irritant. Take 50 ml of this resulting solution. And transfer into conical flask. To this solution we have to add 2 molar sodium hydroxide solution for neutralization add 2 to 3 ml of this 2 molar sodium sodium hydroxide solution shake it properly and dilute this solution about 150 ml of water then dilute this solution about 150 ml of distilled water so add 130 ml of water so it becomes 150 ml of resulting solution 50 And again add sufficient ammonia buffer pH 10 to dissolve this precipitate. 5 ml in excess so the precipitate get dissolved into ammonia buffer solution. Here all the precipitate is dissolved in ammonia buffer having pH 10. After addition of modern black second we got pink colored solution. Now titrate this solution again 0.05 molar disodium additive. During titration check the solution properly so reaction must occur properly. Our end point is pink to bottle green.
okay now pink color get converted into bottle green color and reading burette reading is Twenty four point eight. Repeat this. Repeat this procedure for three times and calculate mean for standardization. Find out molarity of standardization of zero point zero five molar disodium edited. Let's start with essay part. For that, we have to weigh accurately zero point five mol five grams of calcium gluconate. Transfer it into the conical flask. Now add 50 ml of distilled water into the conical flask and dissolve calcium gluconate into water. Now add. 5 ml of 0.05 molar magnesium sulfate into the conical flask again mix it properly and add 10 ml of strong ammonia solution add 10 ml of strong ammonia solution into this solution again check it properly and finally add 0.1 g of modern black second as a indicator we got pink colored solution now this solution titrate against 0.05 molar disodium edited the red or pink color get converted into blue color this is our end point and reading is 23 so repeat this procedure for three times and calculate mean and calculate the percent purity of calcium gluconate start with calculation for standardization of disodium edited first of all let's see reading burette reading for standardization 24.8 24.7 and 24.8 and the mean is 24.8 so formula molarity is equal to weight of granulated zinc divided by burette reading into 0.0654 put the value into formula and reading and the molarity is 0.049 molar let's start with essay calculation 
first of all let's start with duration training for sa first is 23 then 23.1 23 mean is 23 ml factor given each ml of 0.05 mole argyl sodium aerate is equivalent to 0.0 0.0224 2 grams of calcium gluconate now for 23 ml that means our burette ready of 0.049 that is calculated molarity of di sodium aerate will give how many grams of calcium gluconate so by cross multiplication we got x is equal to 0.505 gram of calcium gluconate now for ac we where 0.5 gram of calcium gluconate so 0.5 gram calculate 0.002242 into 0.049 into 23 divided by 0.05 into 0.5 so answer is 1.01 gram 0.5 gram contains 1.01 gram of calcium gluconate now we have to calculate percent purity that means 100 gram contains 0.0242 into 0.049 into 23 into 100 divided by 0.05 into 0.5 so percentage purity is 101.60 percent weight by weight of calcium gluconate now move towards result part the calculated molarity for disodium aerate was found to be 0.049 molar and the percentage purity of calcium gluconate is 101.60% weight by weight of calcium gluconate thank you